you can find the following scanner button in, in most of the Canon copier machine. For this one is 3520 and this one is 5250. Most of the model is came with this scanner button. Hi everyone, welcome to my video. In this video, I'm going to explain push scan and another one, pull scan. Push scan, you place the document in the copier machine and compress it into PDF. JPEG, TIFF, and push it to your PC folder. For pull scan, you place the document on feeder and back to the PC. Click the pull button, the document will pull it into your PC. This method is a bit old school, classic, and not that convenient compared to push scan. Try to imagine that. You're holding your document and go to your copier machine and running back to the PC, click the pull button. After scanning, you have to walk back to the copier and collect back the original documents. It's almost four steps to do the scanning jobs. It's not that convenient, right? But certain case, example, the firewall block the scanning access. In this case, pull scan can help you to do the scanning works. Without further delays, let's jump into the video. Today, I'm going to get you how to do the setting for pull scan. You require to install two applications into your PC. The first one is Color Network Scan Gear and another one is Naps. No worries, I will leave the download link in the description below. Select Scanner and key in your IP address. Click OK and give it some time. It will search for the copy. So here's my copy models and my IP address. You can click Test Connection see whether it's, uh, it's available or not that's what you see here now it's available okay step number one done now we go to the next scanning software and click the new profile choose the device at here you can see the color network scan gear that we configured just now click OK and you can start the scanning now by glass or fiddle. Now I'm trying to use the fiddle size A4 and I have to walk to the copier machine to place the document in the document feeder. Alright, scanning done and now you can save the document into the PDF format or give it a name test save alright this is the document that I this is the document that I scanned just now simple right so that's all for the tutorial no simple nice and clear that's all for today's tutorial hope you guys enjoyed the video